Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video we will study a scenario where we want the data from the input to the destination without headers. So I'll tell you here on the whiteboard. This is our SQL DB, Azure SQL database, which has a table, okay, table one with some columns. Let's say column one, column two, column three, column four, and has some data. Okay. In the output, we want this data from the table to be landed into an ADLS Gen2 account in the form of only the rows. We don't want this header, column header we don't want. Okay. So this data should be loaded as this section directly here. Okay. Not the header header section need not be copied. So how we are going to attain this in data factory. We'll go to the Azure portal. Here we are inside the query editor section of the SQL database CK SQL DB, where we have a table named as persons, which has four columns, ID, last name, first name and age. In the output, we want it to be a CSV file with just these two rows, not the header. Okay. So we'll go to the Azure data factory. So this is the ADF cloud knowledge data factory. We'll create a new pipeline. So just click on creation of pipeline where we want CSV without headers. So in order to do that, we need, first of all, copy data activity. So we'll take copy data activity from the move and transform section into the canvas of the pipeline. Pipeline is CSV without headers and in the copy data activity in the general tab, we need not make any change. We connect to the source. In our case, the source is CK SQL DB. The table name is persons. So in the source data set, we'll click on plus new. We'll select here SQL database, Azure SQL database. We'll click on continue. We'll name this as Azure SQL table for CSV without header input. Link service is already in place for this database, Azure SQL database, CK SQL DB. If it's not there, you can create a new link service for your database. Then the table name we have to select. The table name is persons. As we have seen here in the database, the table name is persons. Then we'll leave the setting as is. Click on OK. We are connected to the source data set to the table named as persons. We'll leave rest of the settings as is. We'll go to the sync tab. In the sync tab, we'll click on plus new and select ADLS Gen2 storage account. In this case, our storage Gen2 account will hold the file output file in the form of the storage Gen2 account will hold the output file in the form of CSV. So delimited text will select and click on continue. We'll write it as output without headers CSV link service ADLS Gen2 account for storage Gen2 account is already there. We'll select that and let me first show you the storage Gen2 account. It is here open as cloud knowledge and it has few containers you can see here. We'll select the output container for this case. We'll select or we'll browse to the file path as output. We'll select up to the output folder level and click OK. So next comes the important setting, which is first row as header. If we let this option be checked, then the row or the first row as header will be copied. If we'll uncheck it, that row won't be copied. OK, so for this video, this is the important setting, which will help us to get the desired result. Then click on OK. We have selected the sync data set. We'll open this sync data set and we'll see the settings here in the target or the sync data set. The file name we have not selected yet. So we'll give the file name to be created inside the output folder with the name, let's say CSV without headers.csv. Rest of the settings looks fine. First row as header. Please note that this setting should not be checked else we'll get the headers also in the output. So we have given the output file name also and we are good to go. 
So we'll now validate the pipeline and click on debug run. In the output section, we can see that the pipeline is under execution. It's queued. Let's wait for it to finish. Let's click on refresh. It succeeded. Now let's go to the storage enter account. Inside the output folder, we could see here the file generated. So yeah, CSV without headers.csv is generated. Let's try to preview the file. Click on edit. And we could see here the two rows landed, not the header section. The two rows were one, two, last name, first name, and the age. The same has been copied. So this is how we can copy the data without headers in ADF by using the sync dataset level setting of first row as header and disabling it. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. Bye.